Hello everybody and welcome to my channel, Love, Truth, and Wisdom Tarot Guidance. My name is Sharnetta. I hope you all are having an enjoyable day so far. So today's reading, pick a card reading topic, is going to be no contact. So um, this is a reading if you have not heard from your person or particular person um, in a very long time and you're just kind of wondering what's going on with the connection, what's going on with them. Um, this is more like a no contact what's happening within the connection type of reading. So we're going to be looking into that. So we have three piles here. Um, the teddy bear, the door, and the heart letter. So feel free to pick more than one if you feel guided to do so. This is a general reading, so not all the messages will resonate and that is perfectly okay. So sometimes you may feel guided to pick another pile just to get additional information or maybe the first pile you chose wasn't resonating. So that's perfectly fine as well. Um, I am doing personal readings. If you feel guided to get a personal reading from me, I'll leave that information down below. Um, I am having a special on my December readings. Um, December is almost over, so but all the readings for the month of December are 30% off. So if you feel guided to um, get a reading from me, they will be 30% off. Again, that information will be down below. And then I want to just say thank you all who have booked personal readings from me, who have liked, shared, subscribed, or supported my channel in any way that you felt guided. I truly appreciate every single one of you. Thank you for so much for helping my channel grow. Um, I plan on doing a lot of expansion and different stuff for the new year, so look out for that. Um, possibly like a membership type of thing that I want to do, but anyways, before we get, I'll get into that later, but I do plan on expanding and like showing my appreciation to you guys, so I'm always going to be doing like a lot of different offers and giveaways for the new year, so just look out for that. Um, and then without further ado, I guess I'm done now, so without further ado, let's get on to your reading. Okay, my first pile, welcome to your reading. If you chose the teddy bear emoji pile, this is your reading for um, no contact, what is happening in this connection at this time. So your overall general card here is adjustments are required, third quarter moon. So I do feel like your person is in this place of making adjustments, of re-evaluating the situation and the relationship. Um, I do feel like this person has been really reflecting over the past few weeks here about what needs to take place for you both to come back together because your person definitely does want to come back together with you. We have, for me, this is true love and we have our connection is divine. So this person knows that this is a very special connection, a very deep soul connection they share with you, um, especially emotionally deep. I do feel like you both can share emotions rather easily and telepathically communicate emotionally. Um, I feel like you both are very in tune to each other's emotions um, almost to the point where maybe at some point in time this was very emotionally codependent where you were really um, dependent on this person always telling you verbally um, really expressing emotions to you and being vulnerable to you opening up to you and this person as well I think they just kind of hid it from you but you both are very into like affection and communication and and talking to each other and really expressing how you feel but I don't feel like neither one of you were doing this or maybe you were and they weren't whatever the case may be I do feel like your person is reflecting on this situation um I do feel like there has been a lot of negativity in your relationship. I, this card is rather dark. Um, so there could have been some really dark negative moments in your relationship. And this person is asking um, now, like speaking honestly to themselves, thinking honestly to themselves about whether... Um, what needs to be released in terms of these maybe codependent or toxic emotions that were involved in the situation and um come in basically knowing that not everything is lost not all that has happened between you both not all the negative and toxic situations that you both have kind of um been involved with each other in is like gonna stop you from being together kind of thing this is about realizing what adjustments and changes are needed for you to get where you want to be so this person is changing course right now i do feel like this card is definitely a change in the forecast your relationship is changing your person is changing i feel like maybe some type of recent event took place where your person is finally understanding or acting upon these understandings that they have gained um it's through some type of recent event that has happened um i do also feel like this person's life was out of balance at the time of them connecting with you or being in some type of situationship with you and this has caused a lot of issues a lot of burdens a lot of um um 
distance um whether this be emotionally physically or mentally i do feel like your person has been carrying a lot of baggage that may not belong to them a lot of responsibilities that may or may not have belonged to them either way your person is coming up with a whole new plan on how to approach you and how to approach the situation because this relationship is really important to them i'm hearing and is really special to them i feel like they need to trust um they're learning to trust themselves trust their feelings trust their emotions and trust you in regards to the situation to move the situation forward i do feel like there's something new and exciting around the corner i don't think you'll be um this person will be quiet very much longer is what i'm hearing i think there's just a couple of challenges and things this person needs to go through but just from your messages and everything i do feel like your person is trying and is working behind the scenes on this connection um the other two messages we have here is you made me question a lot about myself and i just want to hold you in my arms and kiss you again so this person definitely misses you this person misses your touch misses holding you misses connecting with you in that way where they want to show you affection i feel like this person wants to show you affection i feel like maybe they've repressed a lot of affection um towards you in some way and this time apart this no contact has made them really question that about why they did what they did why they repressed themselves from expressing how they felt about this connection how they felt about you and they're really reflecting and kind of regrowing and evolving and ascending in some type of way and not in like a dark night of the soul ego death way but just more like ch changing a cor changing their course of plan and action like take taking different action steps and really reflecting if their words match their actions i feel like maybe in the past this person's words did not match their actions um but either way you made this person question you made this person question themselves a lot when you were with them and just why they treated you the way they did or maybe they treat everyone the way they treated you but why they were so burdensome by maybe a lot of people's expectations why this person first of all has been through a lot i feel like you both have been through a lot in this connection together but this person has been through a lot this person I'm hearing can be really stubborn and really hold on to things that don't serve them really hold on to people's opinions about them or like I said expectations or responsibilities that really don't have anything to do with them and I feel like this person is realizing this and really changing their changing their ways honestly this person is changing their ways on how they live their life and how they want to live their life with you because I do feel like this person really wants to reconnect with you physically again um I feel like spiritually and telepathically you both are connecting so maybe you just needed some reassurance to see like if you were getting the right messages from your person if maybe you were thinking about your person a lot and telepathically communicating making sure that what you're hearing is what you're actually hearing um then yeah this is just a uh, affirmation or affirming that you are hearing this person you are connecting to this person and you are um adjusting your relationship and adjusting your lives so that you both can kind of come together again and like collaborate in a better more efficient way in a way that's more grounded and stable so your tarot cards here we have the ten of wands reverse the nine of wands and then the four of pentacles reverse so your person is definitely in this introspection is very internalized right now um when they approach people now or um yeah when they approach the outside world they're very guarded they're very protective um this person needs a lot of protection of a against negativity i'm hearing and about and against toxic people i feel like this person is around people who are very negative or very low vibe and they need to protect themselves because it's infiltrating how they feel it's infiltrating their own energy and that in turn is infiltrating your relationship so this person is really protective right now i do feel like this person is alone is really in this reflective space is really spending a lot of time alone right now I feel like this is something you both may be doing. Um, this person is letting go of any challenges. This person is letting go of any type of overanalyzing. I feel like a lot of what this person is letting go of is thoughts. Um, and thoughts of thoughts that are negative. Um, any type of over, like I said, overanalyzing, overthinking anything. They're letting go of that. This person is really learning to follow the signs and guidance and is leveling up in their life in some way by letting go of a lot of things that no longer serve them. Um, with this ten of wands and then we have the card here growing success underneath it says abundance generosity being excited stay on path improvement manifesting um, affluence i feel like your person has been working on manifesting more finances more stability really creating a life of their own instead of maybe in the past they were creating a life that um 
their parents or society or even maybe you projected onto them of what they should want their life to be this person is really focusing on what they want their life to be not saying that you pressured them but they may have felt pressured by you or by family or friends not to you know take that personally but it's feel like it feels like this person just didn't know how to listen to their own self how to really have boundaries in terms of what's theirs and what's other people's i do feel like your person is definitely working on um being on their path being on the right path and by right i mean like what's right for them they're really improving their life they're really um manifesting really great abundance right now so this person is really in a really um or getting to a really decent place in their life um, which I think is really, really positive and good to hear. I do feel like your person, in terms of the Ten of Wands, this is about... Um, th- I feel like your person is... Or just your relationship in general is coming through this end of a cycle. This end of stress, um, oppressions, and burdens from each other. Really letting that go. And you both could be really feeling... Um, manifesting your desires and really improving your finances. And really accomplishing a lot more than you thought in the spiritual realm and in the physical realm like money so you could really both be focusing on your finances and really be um, balancing and making sure your finances are stable and grounded and balanced with the nine of wands i do feel like your person or your relationship is gaining this new um determination and persistence um is getting this new hope and this courage to move forward maybe not yet but i do feel like this is what is going on i feel like your person is more inspired to be more persistent towards really making the life they way the way that they want and really determined to do better especially since we have this giving and receiving underneath um we have here it says everything is energy reciprocity give and receive easily to others and yourself random acts of kindness so your person is i do feel like your relationship is in this place of rebalancing giving and receiving i do feel like one person was doing a lot more work than the other um but i feel like maybe both of you thought you were doing more than maybe the other person i'm getting so this is about really like reflecting on what exactly did you bring to this relationship and what exactly did you not bring but you need to bring in the future to this relationship so a lot of giving and receiving a lot of um positive energy positive vibes like i said i do feel like there was some darker energy darker times in your connection um maybe some lessons some karma that needed to be worked through especially with this ten of wands but like i also said this is ending this is a cycle that's completing there is a major completion here in terms of burdens and stress and stuff like that and new courage new hope new determination is being um presented here um i do feel like you both are really in this place of giving yourselves what you need to feel safe to feel secure to feel stable um you both are really acting from this place of kindness especially your person um but i do feel like there's mirroring going on here so you could be mirroring this with your person but your person is really in this place of learning to give to themselves and whatever they give to themselves they can give to others and realizing that they can't give to others what they don't give to themselves so really in this place of focusing on energy and where they're putting in their energy and where they're focusing their attention is where their energy is going to go and make sure it's focused in a place that's going to help them grow and evolve and it's going to better them and better this connection and then with the four of pentacles here in reverse um and then we have the challenge card underneath so i do feel like your person is um feels a little bit lonely feels a, bit, a little bit isolated is in this place of feeling um doesn't really trust i'm getting this thing of like they don't trust um they're having a hard time trusting they're trying to trust but they really are having a hard time trusting i feel like their money could be like they're still in this process of learning what to give and what and how to receive so they could have lost money in some way or they could be really holding on tightly to their money either way i feel like this is a challenge for this person um the challenge card here says delay or detour which is beneficial it says revise rethink follow signs guidance test before loving up so this person is definitely being tested your relationship is definitely being tested right now before you move on to a higher level of commitment with each other um i do feel like there's a lot of challenges that are ending but then there are going to be new challenges being presented but ones that you can handle ones for your benefit i mean everything's for your benefit honestly but there are going to be new things coming about and things ending i feel like you're just in this cycle of trying to adjust trying to do what's required of you in your life and that reflecting into your relationship i feel like 
um, there's a lot of revising going on between you both. There's a, this person is definitely re- revising their life and rethinking things and following signs and following guidance. Um, but there is a level of mistrust here. Like, I feel like maybe both of you maybe don't trust that this relationship is, you both are going to end up together or, um, there's a level of mistrust where you both don't trust each other to really share your feelings or emotions. But I do, there's just, there's just this level of mistrust of things actually going your way. And this is really affirming to me that things actually are going your way. I do feel like though, sometimes your person, and perhaps you want to give up sometimes on this relationship but there's something about it where you just can't give up because you both have the strong divine connection because you both are true loves this is your true love this is someone that you are meant to be with but the choices are like up I mean we all have free will so this is up to you to really follow the signs and trust that you're being guided together trust that this relationship will come together when it's the right time like I said adjustments are required right now but I do feel like this person really needs to tell you how they really feel about you. Um, I feel like they're about to come through this heart awakening and offer you something after they get past some a couple challenges here. But there is this level also I'm hearing of like regret of wishing they treated you better and like them wanting to apologize. So um, th- there's a lot there's a lot this person is adjusting to and I feel like patience is very much needed I feel like you're also adjusting on some level maybe the same as this person or on different different things um in your life that you're adjusting to as well but just know that you both are doing the same thing you both feel the same way um you both you know speak to each other all the time I feel like this person dreams about you you dream about them um this person does want to give you something though but they're feeling challenged in giving you this because they're overthinking it or they're holding on too tightly they're scared that you're going to reject them or hurt them in some way um so this is really a test of whether your person can really come forward because I feel like your person never really comes forward with some type of offer or reaches out to you first a lot so this is them really being tested to trust that they can do this to trust that you feel the same way and really block out any negativity from other people i'm getting like family and friends that are like um have opinions about love and relationships that don't align with their opinions about love and relationship like they're listening to people who don't know what a divine connection is or what true love is you know what i mean so this is about them really um assessing who to listen to and who not to listen to but your person is thinking about you a lot and is in a place of wanting to reconnect with you when the time is right when they're ready but they are learning they are growing they are questioning themselves they are adjusting so no worries there okay so i'm gonna leave it here i hope this was helpful i hope this provided you with some type of clarity and guidance if not you can pick another pile if you feel guided to do so i'm sending you all so much love and light thank you for watching and i will talk to you all later take care hello my second group so if you chose the door emoji this is your reading for what is going on your connection why has there been no contact so your overall general theme here message is nothing is yet set in stone a mutable moon this is um a mutable moon is about change or mutable signs are about change um the mutable signs are gemini sagittarius virgo pisces so your person or you could have these signs in your birth chart or very heavy placements of these signs um but if not that's okay um the mutable moon like i said is all about change it's all about going with the flow shape shifting um also it's about um still developing something so i do feel like your connection is still developing it's still growing it's changing it's sh- it's shape shifting i do feel like your person is still changing and growing and learning i do feel like um there is a room to 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 really pinpoint what it is you want um i feel like both of you could be really indecisive or really in a place where maybe you want this but then your mind tells you something different or you don't see the um accurate you know action or you don't see the accurate like manifestation for you to want something so maybe you want this person to contact you but maybe your head is telling you like well they should contact me because if they really love me they would contact me or something like that so i do feel like this is about really pinpointing and really standing firm in what you want especially your person i feel like your person goes back and forth all the time about what they want and what they want to give you and pushing you away and pulling you back in this person is very fearful i feel like of this connection because it's maybe a past life connection you share or this person's just not really comfortable with like 
emotional, heavy emotional connections or soulmate connections. Maybe they don't know a lot about soulmate connections, but your person does feel this connection as being really strong, a really strong pull towards you. But I think that pull towards you scares them and it makes them want to push you away. And they don't mean to. It's just because this person gets overwhelmed with emotions. I do feel like this person is emotionally unavailable at this particular time and maybe has been throughout your relationship, um, depending on where you are, how long you've known each other. But anyway, what this is saying, this mutable moon is saying is if you're not happy with something, um, if you're not happy with the current state of how your relationship is, this means that you can still change it. This means you can still change the course of the outcome. So if things are still changing in your relationship, especially with this five of wands. There are a lot of changes and lessons and growth going on. So this is kind of a challenging and difficult time in your relationship and in your person's life, I feel. Um, and maybe also in your life as well. This is a situation where you could feel a little bit unstable. Your person is definitely going through this unstable time and this sense of sadness because they know what they want. They just don't know how to give it to you. They don't know how to tell you. They want to offer you something. They do have a gift for you, but I am hearing, and we do have this message here, that it's not a commitment, but it's something to kind of let you know that they're thinking about you let them let you know that they're sorry that they want you that they still care about you that they love you they have feelings for you but it's not exactly commitment and they feel like it's not good enough because they're aware that you want a commitment so i feel like this is what's keeping them in this push pull of like wanting to contact you wanting to talk to you but then being scared that they don't have enough or they'll be rejected their mind is is very um in this place of conflict and i feel like their emotions are repressed and suppressed and also in conflict so this person is really in conflict of a gift but they do definitely have a gift we have i have a gift for you and then we have the message i don't know why i keep pushing you away i'm sorry so this person does want to give you something but they keep telling themselves a story that is letting them not give you the gift that is making them kind of be distant from you physically and emotionally but like i said this is this mutable moon card nothing is yet set in stone is good news because it means that things can change just with your thinking with your af with affirmations with your beliefs and changing your beliefs and changing your emotions um this is about staying with whatever you want and sticking with it despite what you see manifesting despite what you see in the in the 3d because what you see in the 3d is not the most accurate if this is something that has already manifested that you've already manifested in your reality so this is about being present and manifesting your future from this present moment not from the past um this is also about staying adaptable being flexible like i was saying um this is just about thinking about you thinking about what you want with this person and daydreaming about it i feel like your person is is trying to think or no this person is thinking about what they want with you and daydreaming about you but there's so much conflict between their thoughts and their emotions and possibly other people getting into their heads maybe other people's opinions about the relationship and you that it's causing them to pull away it's causing them to push you away even though they want to be near you they want to be closer to you we also have the messages here i'm on my way and i'm not ready for commitment so see we have that like unbalanced like i have a gift for you i'm on my way and then we have like you know i don't know why i keep pushing you away i'm sorry and i'm not ready for commitment that like back and forth thing so this is what your person is really experiencing in their own relationship to themselves and the relationship with other people in their lives um i do feel like this person is definitely in tune to the fact that you both are divine counterparts you both have like a soul connection a past life connection even and that um there is a lot of work being done being done on the astral world and the astral level i do feel like this person also needs to be forgiven for something they want you to forgive them for like you know pushing you away and not being ready for commitment it's has nothing to do with you it's just the way this person feels about themselves about love about feelings about emotions in general and then other people putting their opinions and beliefs into their head and then you know putting other people's opinions first before their own and before yours it's just like a lot of confusion a lot of chaos i feel this five of wands is very very significant so in terms of your tarot here we do have the six of cups reverse and then we have say affirmations underneath it so the say affirmations underneath it um states um i am man um states i am manifesting happens in the present tense and in present life it's believable to you so this is about really your person 
not really affirming the right things. Therefore, this is what they're manifesting. A lot of emotional chaos, a lot of emotional upheavals, a lot of scarcity mindedness. Like this person um, is affirming that they're alone, that they're not good enough for you, that you don't love them the same way that they love you, is affirming a lot of disappointments instead of what they really want to happen. And, you know, with this nothing is yet set in stone, they have the opportunity to change that. And I feel like maybe you you were doing this on some level as well, where you have the opportunity to really pay attention to what you're affirming, what you are speaking about in this re relationship. Because um, we also have creating reality and beliefs come true. So this is really about manifesting. You guys are in a perfect time in your relationship right now where you can manifest what you want and really watch your words, watch the words that are being said to you and watch what you bring into your reality and the energy you're taking in because let's just give this as an example if you're watching um a show or something that has a lot of relationship drama relationship chaos a lot of maybe cheating or lying or a lot of he sh he said she said stuff you're bringing that into your reality now i'm not saying not to watch that but just be careful of what you're bringing into your reality and then you're maybe um, projecting that into your relationship and seeing the similarities in that and stuff like that and you're already creating a reality that you don't even want you know what I'm saying so that's just one example but you many different things you know many different influences are creating your reality so make sure you focus on what you want what you want to have happen in this relationship and just affirm it every day write it down every day write down three things you want to happen in this relationship and just it'll take some time to manifest but it will manifest just like what has happened now was a manifestation of both of your thoughts and both of your feelings about each other and your feelings about yourselves even though i do feel like you both love each other but there's a lot of doubt and there's a lot of um um uh, scarcity like I said scarcity mindset there's a lot of disappointments surrounding this love that you both feel for each other and I feel like you're manifesting off the disappointments and the scarcity than the love that you both really share because maybe you don't trust that you both have the same feelings or something like that and then we have the five of wands and then we have creating reality so creating reality says live your best life by design you have amazing experiences um, freedom lifestyle infinite potential you have the potential you both both have the potential to create the reality you want but since it's under the five of wands i do believe that you're creating more chaos and conflict than you are the reality you really want um now the five of wands to me when i see this card is not the most difficult chaos this is more about ego self-esteem self-confidence and just like taking on other people's opinions this is more like an ego battle like ego games stuff like that it's not the most serious conflict, but it is a challenge because our egos can be very inflated or just very strong where we think something's true, but it's actually not true. Um, not to say that your ego is bad, but it does, your ego's like the whole thing is to keep you alive. So if you know you had some emotional heartbreak or disappointment your ego is going to remember it and it's going to kind of replay that and remind you like hey last time you did this you were hurt so let's try not to do this again you know what i'm saying so i do feel like there is some conflict between egos or egos clashings or ideas or beliefs something like that but this is also a good card as an opportunity to learn how to support yourself how to support others even if you have challenging beliefs and different ideas about how the relationship should go this is very much a lesson um this is very much a a growing period for you to focus and grow your self-esteem and self-confidence without um placing it upon the hands or heads shoulders of other people to validate your confidence through you know silly or not silly but just opinions or beliefs that don't make or break you don't really change anything it's just what you believe it's just your opinion because at the end of the day we all have the same ending so it really doesn't really matter but anyways like i was saying this is about creating that reality so this is about telling yourself that you will have amazing experiences you have the freedom to choose the lifestyle you want you have infinite potential you can live your best life by design um really getting into that type of energy space but i do feel like this person is being challenged by their beliefs i feel like whoever they're around or what they're watching is conflicting their beliefs in such a way where it's causing a lot of disagreements and resistance i feel like your person is resisting um maybe some of the positive aspects of your relationship they're resisting definitely giving you this gift because they're in such conflict and 
um, maybe they feel like there's competition between them and someone else that you may be seeing. Even if you're not seeing anyone, this person could think that you're seeing someone else. Or just have a lot of doubts about the relationship in general, which has nothing to do with you, but it does reflect on how they feel about themselves. And maybe you're also dealing with this as well. So because I feel like there's mirroring going on here. So this is just about you both getting on the same page so you both can co-create the life and the relationship you want together. Because I do feel like your person definitely thinks about you, thinks about you all the time, really wants to be with you, doesn't want to be with anyone else, but they are very much conflicted based on their thoughts and their beliefs and what they're affirming to themselves on a day, on a daily basis. Um, and then with the page of pentacles here, like this is about passion. Your person is very passionate about you, very passionate about this connection and very passionate about this gift they have for you. It is something that they value. It's something that means a lot to them. Now they're afraid that it won't mean that much to you, but to them giving you this means they love you, means they want to be with you. They see a future with you. It may not be a commitment type of gift, but it is something that lets you know that they want a commitment in the future, that they want to be with you in the future. And then underneath that we have beliefs come true. Um, it says your beliefs create your reality, recognize and change emotions, reprogram your subconscious mind. Definitely, you know, with the six of cups being reversed and the five of wands, that's like difficult emotions, difficult, you know, passions, different difficult beliefs and ideas, things that reflect um who you are to a certain degree and your person is is having a hard time with what they believe and what they don't believe their beliefs are changing let's start there um i feel like your beliefs are changing too but it's this in the period of like this change that is difficult and challenging because they're not qu they don't quite have their footing yet they're still learning they're still in this page of pentacles of like okay i have this gift i want to give this gift to my person i love my person i care about my person um i may not be ready for a commitment but i do want to contact them i do want to talk to them i do want to approach them and let them know like you know hey i see a future with you but right now i'm still dealing with a couple things i'm still having challenging beliefs or i'm still having challenging thoughts or there's still people around me that i need to like kind of release and let go of something in that manner that your person wants to um tell you about but you know this person is learning how to is learning about how their reality how their beliefs create their reality they are learning about you know writing down things affirmations law of manifestation stuff like that they are recognizing that they need to change their emotions with the six of cups reverse they need to change their beliefs with the five of wands they need to reprogram their whole subconscious mind for them to be ready to offer you this gift like that they i feel like this they've been they've had this gift for quite some time they've been holding on to it for a long time and just looking at it like maybe it's um I don't know maybe it's a book or a poem or a piece of jewelry or something and they've like they have it on their like on the table in their room and they just look at it every day and being like when am I gonna give this person my gift when am I gonna like come forward when am I gonna contact them and then they have all these doubts slip into their heads and all these like negative beliefs and affirmations about this person doesn't even want this anyway or you know this is not enough for your person they want a commitment and you're not even you know they're just kind of getting down on themselves a lot um and this is about them changing that whole perspective and just following their heart following their emotions trusting their feelings and emotions enough and their beliefs of what they want to create enough to give you this thing that they really want to give you and I do feel like they're going to give it to you eventually as soon as they get out of their own way this person is just doubting themselves is self-sabotaging themselves um it's just really in their own way and they they really need to figure that out but they do have an opportunity that they want to present to you they do want to master this they want to master their mind they want to master their emotions master their thoughts they do want to discover you know new things about you new things about this relationship new things about themselves even and about the law of attraction and just the laws of the universe in general this person definitely wants to seize this opportunity um, before it's too late i'm hearing so they just want you to be able to forgive them whatever they bring to you they know it's not enough they know that it's not what you want but this is something that's really meaningful to them i'm hearing and they're really passionate about that really means a lot to them so just take that into account when you do hear from this person because you will and um 
this person also wants to let you know that they are aligning to their best selves like i said they're being challenged right now but they are learning and trying and really trying to understand this push-pull dynamic that they have with you and that they have with themselves because this person feels like their heart belongs to you i'm also getting like strong um sexual attraction this person is very sexually attracted to you um I feel like this person has like sexual dreams about you in that terms they're okay they know how to manifest from that area because i feel like this person's really passionate in a general sense but just you know when they're not in that sexual intimacy type of way they kind of struggle with the beliefs about you know whether they're good enough to be with you in some type of way but this person you know they know they need to heal they're healing they know that their heart belongs to you and they just want to be able to show you show up for you and really yeah, just really show up for you the way that you deserve and stop pushing you away and really um, maybe not commit to a commitment, but commit to something with you. Um, commit to where you are right now and growing and then moving on and moving forward and seeing where this goes and where how this progresses. But they're really in this place of learning, trying to create their own reality and seeing like their how their words and emotions create their own reality and where there's like a disconnect there where they're creating something that they don't want instead of something that they do want and this is something for you too as well i feel like maybe you are looking into this or this is a message for you to really pay attention to what you're creating what you're affirming your beliefs are and really you know reprogramming your subconscious mind to believe that you are worthy of love believe that this person has the same feelings for you and you know not take it personal when they push you away and that they're not ready for commitment but just know that this person is still growing and learning you're still growing and learning and when you both are ready for a commitment it will come together i feel like this is kind of something you both want to manifest anyway so when you both are on the same page and really affirm and are really committed to creating the reality you want with each other this is when you both will finally come together so i'm gonna leave it here i hope this was helpful i hope this resonated if not you can pick another pile if you feel guided to do so i'm sending you all so much love and light thank you for watching and i will talk to you all later take care okay my third pile if you chose the heart um letter emoji this is your reading for um no contact what is happening in your connection at this moment so your overall message general card here is nothing will come of this situation void of course moon so don't freak out it doesn't mean that nothing is going to happen in this situation i'm getting strongly that this is a change of circumstances or behaviors or patterns in your connection that is ending um but with this card it's really talking about whatever you're creating at this moment so it's really about um whether or not you um this is not good news or bad news what this card is about so it's basically about if you're worried about something whatever it is this is a sign that there's nothing to worry about no um there's nothing to worry about in terms of why you haven't heard from this person i feel like this person is ending a really difficult cycle in their life a really difficult cycle in terms of maybe their thinking definitely um their living situations i feel like this person may feel um is really like doesn't have a really grounded or settled place to live or something whatever is going on this person is going through a lot and it's it's coming to an end um so that's what's happening or and or if you're asking you know whatever you're asking about this is just about adjusting your expectations and or um, changing things so you can get a different outcome basically so this is something that you can change so if you want to be with this person you definitely have the opportunity to be with this person your messages suggest that this person also wants to be with you and thinks about you all the time so I feel like this is more circumstance ending and behaviors ending just your person going through this difficult time maybe you both are going through difficult times and it's just coming to an end but just remember that this card also um can only predict what you're currently creating and manifesting so you can change what you want you can change your beliefs anytime so the more that you change your beliefs and change your energy as to what you want in this connection the more that this will go in your favor so this is um card is also about trusting that whatever is going on is happening for your highest good this is also about surrendering to the divine taking a time out meditate and contemplate about what you really want maybe i'm hearing for some of you you're watching way too many tarot readings or tarot card readings 
things about your relationship about why you haven't heard from this person and it's just kind of running amok in your head making you think about all these crazy not crazy but really these poverty conscious scarcity minded beliefs about your situation uh, making you doubt this situation making you doubt yourself making you feel more alone more trapped more like you can't move and stuff like that so it's about kind of taking a break from that and really meditating and contemplating of how you feel getting in tune with your own emotions and your own feelings um before you seek out seek out outside advice so this is also about um a major connection i feel like you both have a major serious connection with one another that you can feel this i feel so like poverty conscious so maybe your person lost a lot of money or lost a job recently something like that where your person is going through a very difficult time it's very emotional i feel it in my heart space um i feel like maybe even you both could be going through a difficult time your messages are very count like don't really match the overall energy so um, we have here, I will propose to you, I listen to certain songs to think about you and me. I've been crying a lot about you, about us, and I fantasize a lot about you. I feel like we both have like green and red here. So this is about heart and grounding. Your person is not grounded in their emotions whatsoever. I feel like your person is very much more mental and thinking not the best thoughts about your connection, which is why we have nothing will come of this situation. So it's time to change your thoughts. It's time to change your approach, change your beliefs about yourselves and about this connection. Basically, i do feel once you do that this will align a lot better in terms of your person proposing to you for something proposing that you work together or have a second chance or start over or this person offering you some type of love proposal or whatever the case may be it doesn't have to be a like marriage proposal although it can be but for some this will be a heart proposal a love proposal some type of love offer some type of offer to have a second chance and start over your person thinks and fantasizes about you a lot they listen to a lot of music maybe that's something you both have in common it keeps them feeling less alone i feel like this person feels really lonely and abandoned um maybe Maybe not necessarily by you but abandoned by the world or maybe abandoned by you because they can't reach you or contact you or get to you in some way and they would just they really want a second chance with you with this ten of swords being in reverse this is like my second chance type of card so they want a second chance at this but they're stuck in this fear-based mentality and they're stuck in this place of feeling abandoned and rejected and and sadness um about you about what's transpired between you both about the connection and they don't they can't seem to get out of it they will get out of it but they're having a hard time getting out of it this is just a really challenging situation that they're in that definitely is coming to an end but it's kind of a slow end a slow cycle coming to a completion and a lot of this stemmed from their thoughts with this eight of swords so we do have the eight of swords here with the ten of swords reverse and the five of pentacles those are really difficult and challenging cards um the eight of swords speaks about like i said imprisonment self-entrapment telling yourself a story and thinking that you can't get out of it but it's just the thoughts that you're thinking this is about also fear-based mentality and telling yourself fearful things um almost like a self-sabotage self-doubt type of situation so i feel like maybe one or both of you are really self-doubting yourselves um and self-doubting this connection and then we have underneath that it's manifested this says new desired reality is already present in your life vibrational alignment astrology gives edge so this is about what pay attention to what you're manifesting because it's right under this eight of swords which means you're not manifesting what you want which comes back to this card of nothing will come of this situation you need to manifest what you want instead of manifesting from a place of fear a place of sadness a place of abandonment and rejection manifest from a place of love now you're, it's not just gonna happen just like that it's gonna take a lot of um practice and consistency and congruency to manifest from a place of love because right next to the it's manifested we have being love so this is about knowing that telling yourself good affirmations about yourself about your situation this is a temporary kind of standstill kind of difficult time just fyi um it's not gonna last long because i do feel like your feelings for each other your love for each other can outweigh the fear can outweigh the abandonment the rejection the betrayal the sadness the disappointment whatever both of you may be feeling especially your person can outweigh that so this is just about allowing your 
um, emotions to come to surface because I feel like maybe one or both of you are scared to really feel what you've been feeling um, I do feel like there has been a lot of tears shed about one or the other you both have shed a lot of tears even if you don't think your person cries your person is definitely crying now especially with this five of pentacles coming out that's like my really next to the five of, I mean if you got the five of cups but the five of pentacles for me is a lot more sadder to me than the five of cups because it's just feeling so alone even though you're not alone so abandoned so like no one loves you no one wants you but these are thoughts and beliefs you have about yourself that's just mirroring the it's just yeah, the universe is just mirroring these thoughts that you have about yourself. So this is about changing the thoughts that you have about yourself. Um, with the Ten of Swords reverse, um, right above being love, we have exude love in all that you do. Oneness, like attracts like, unconditional, lovingly, loving self in all. So this is about, you know, getting up from a difficult situation. You're not out of it and they're not out of it. This relationship is not out of a difficult situation quite yet, but it is coming out of it. It is slowly but surely moving out of this maybe you both feeling abandoned and like you both don't care about each other you both don't love each other that's not the case at all i do feel like your person definitely wants to make a move towards you definitely wants a second chance with you definitely thinks about the future with you and thinks about the future and thinks about you being in in their future life in their world and really wants to be in this place of love with you they want to but to do so you know with this like attracts like here they have to feel this for themselves this is a really good lesson and time for you both to come into this place of self-love self-harmony um self-care and really just love yourselves unconditionally the bad and the good the, the fearful thoughts and the the loving thoughts and really knowing they both have a place and they both had a place at a certain time but now you know you're fearful thoughts don't maybe at one point they were keeping you safe and they made you feel like you were safe but now it's kind of hindering you from you from both of you expressing love and being together and getting rid of this abandonment fear and stuff like that but you have to notice it within yourself first if that makes sense um with the five of pentacles and then we have underneath incoming this is about news message game changers a game changer um making connections insights gifts surprises so like i said i feel like this is a very temporary situation it feels like maybe this has gone on forever it feels like maybe this will go on forever it won't this is very temporary this is just a lesson you both need to learn about controlling your minds and thinking about think about what you're manifesting and knowing that this situation that you find yourselves in right now has is something that has already been manifested it's something that you already thought about that has became your reality so this is about being more present so you can manifest what you want for the future and i know you don't want this situation for the future so it's about telling yourself a different story basically telling yourself that you want a second chance and really believing it really knowing that you deserve love you deserve connection your person wants to connect with you your person wants to love you and be there for you um really like forgiving yourself forgiving the other person for abandoning you if they did forgiving the other person for not being there and realizing that you know in truth if they could they would be there it's just because they had these beliefs and they had these thoughts that were keeping them from not being able to be with you or be with themselves if i'm going to be honest but i do feel like there's some type of awakening happening here especially with the ten of swords there's definitely a renewal a rebirth a second chance a second start at a situation a second start at life a second start and in life together being together um i do feel like this person is going to reach out to you though um as soon as they kind of get through this manifestation being a part of love and realizing that it's their thoughts that's creating this your, their beliefs create your their reality and realizing this once they get in the flow of that and really learn that i feel like once they come out of this temporary difficult cycle of disappointments um they are going to come forward with you with some type of message like i said some type of proposal some type of collaboration i feel like it won't be very emotional it will kind of be more as like a meetup you know getting together to take a walk or cook dinner it'll be very casual very friendly on the friendly side not so much the emotional side but i do feel like emotions will be expressed once 
you guys kind of recalibrate together and kind of discuss things and talk things out. I feel like your person just wants to collaborate with you and be more cooperative and build something that's long lasting with you. They don't want to be alone. They don't want to live life alone. They won't want to do this alone. I feel like your person gets really lonely. I feel like you could get really lonely as well. And instead of telling yourself that you deserve to be alone or you have to be alone or, you know, telling yourself a lot of things that don't make you feel good and feel better about your situation, try telling yourself something that makes you feel better like i'm alone right now to heal to grow so that i can be with my person um whatever i'm going through right now is a lesson for me to to learn how to be in this place of love to learn about manifestation to learn and discipline my mind and discipline my emotions and learn how to be in vibrational alignment with what i want um something like that something to just make yourself feel better about where you are because right now both of you are not feeling good about where you are and you're not feeling good about where you are in the connection so that needs to change because i do feel like the universe is giving you opportunity to change this because i don't think this is how your relationship is supposed to be supposed to be i feel like you both are supposed to be together are supposed to be in alignment together supposed to come together to build something whether this is work or love or both i feel like you both are meant to be with each other in some way to like heal each other to comfort each other i feel like you both have had the same type of lifestyle or same upbringing in some way where you both felt abandoned maybe emotionally or physically or just didn't feel safe in your environment growing up or something like that where you both have this in common but it's time for you both to over overcome this which is why there hasn't been any contact because i feel like your person is overcoming this i don't think they're realizing what they're overcoming but they are doing so um, and I feel like they'll realize it quickly, surely, but, you know, slowly, but surely they'll realize it. But this person's not ready to communicate quite yet. Um, and I just feel like they want to say, like, please don't give up on them to, um, they want you to know that they think about you all the time. Their thoughts of you keep them from giving up on this relationship, um, keeps them from really, it helps them be in this place of love when they think about you, because when they think about you, they see love, they feel love, um, but you know they can't think about you all the time they have to in invoke these feelings within themselves and know that they deserve love they deserve to feel comforted and nurtured and cared for and allowing themselves to do this really kind of meeting their own needs so that they can allow you to meet their needs and vice versa meeting your own needs so you can allow this person to meet your needs and be open and receptive to each other because right now i'm just getting a lot of closed offness just because you both are going through this difficult temporary um challenge and ending and completion and stuff like that but all for a better beginning all because this person just really wants to be with you and are really you both are really listening to your spirit guides at least your person is and knowing that this is very temporary that whatever is ending is coming to an end because if it continued nothing will would come of this situation and that's like i said that's that's not part of your divine contracts with each other divine order i feel like you both are meant to be together but there's just there's need there's a need to work through the past um, and move forward in your life but you have to end some type of difficult cycle and a lot of this is your thinking about yourself and about maybe life and the world in general and just learning a different perspective thinking about a different perspective about how you can make your life your world reflect how you can make your world reflect the love you have for each other does that make sense like creating the world you want um by your beliefs so I feel like I'm rambling. So just know your person's going through a lot. They are asking for you to be patient. I feel like maybe you could be going through a certain things, but patience is very much needed for this person. And yeah, they miss you. They care about you and they just want to be there for you. And they are there for you in the 5D. Um, even if it's not in the physical plane, the 3D world, they are there for you all the time. So you can contact them anytime you want to and talk to them and stuff like that so that is what i see for you guys i hope this was helpful and i hope this resonated if not you can feel free to pick another pile if you feel guided to do so i'm sending you all so much love and light thank you for watching and i will talk to you all later take care